with African music, people just go, no, just play from the heart, play from the soul. That's not enough. To learn the scales, the modes, people don't associate them with African music. It might sound a lot of rhythm going on, and so you might just think, oh, great, African music, and you know, it's happy, but there's actually a lot of uh, depth hidden behind all that. In the village, is there's no plectrum, it's, it's mostly just a finger style. As soon as I picked up the guitar the very first day, I started playing and I was being woken up by a slap by my grandfather. It was like five in the morning. I'd fallen asleep if I left all the door open and my grandfather banned the guitar. It was like no guitar in the house. But I didn't stop. I kept playing in, in hiding and stuff like that. For this kind of music, which is always syncopated, you always know where the beat is and you're going around it. Intervals are being used all the time. All the time. You actually can't get away from it. If you've heard music of Franco Lombo Bacchiadi, he uses six all the time. He hardly plays anything else. So uh, yeah, we do the same thing again with the metronome, see how that goes. In this globalized world, as a musician, if you want to survive, the more style of music you can play, the more calls you would get, the more gigs you can do, so you know, you won't, you won't be broke.